Hi dear students, in the last class we have discussed uh, the various contraceptive methods. So today we are going to complete the remaining portions of that chapter. So let's start with uh, the medical termination of pregnancy. Okay. MTP or medical termination of pregnancy. It is otherwise known as induced abortion. It is the voluntary termination of pregnancy before the full term. The voluntary termination of pregnancy before the full term. That is known as what? Medical termination of pregnancy or it is otherwise known as induced abortion. Okay. And in India, it is legalized in 1971. And there is some restriction to check the illegal female feticides. Even though it is legalized, there are some restrictions to check the illegal female feticides. Okay. Then, uh, why do we choose this MTP or medical termination of pregnancy? To get rid of unwanted pregnancies. The reason is that to get rid of unwanted pregnancies. And these unwanted pregnancies, it may be due to the unprotected sexual intercourse or maybe due to the failure of various contraceptives or maybe in the cases of rapes. So in such conditions, the medical termination of pregnancy is very important. And in some other cases, the continuation of pregnancy that may lead to or that may be harmful to the fetus or to the mother or maybe to both. In such a conditions also, the doctor may suggest this, that what? Medical termination of pregnancy. And this procedure, it is very safe during the first trimester or the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. It is very safe at that time. Then after that, it is very risk, it is very dangerous. Okay. And there are some uh, some disturbing trends in what this MTP or the medical termination of pregnancy. Because most of this MTP, they are carrying out illegally. And there is misuse of amniocentesis. Amniocentesis is very important. Okay. That can detect uh, the abnormalities of the fetus, the sexual abnormalities of the fetus. Then the congenital diseases, the disorders of the fetus can be determined by using these techniques. At the same time, there are some misuse that by determining the sex of the baby, sex, sex of the fetus, if it is found female, there may be some problems. That means it may lead to that MTP. In some places, the MTP is common. That is illegal and it may lead to what the female feticides. Okay. So such such a kind of practices that should be avoided. Okay. So that's all about the medical termination of pregnancy, or it is otherwise known as what? Induced abortion. Okay, so it's a voluntary action. In some cases, it is very important to suggest. The doctor may suggest in some cases. Okay. Then, this what infertility. Infertility is the inability of the couples to produce children. The inability of the couples to have, to produce children is what? Infertility. There may be many reasons, variety of reasons are there. There may be physical or congenital or drugs related or immunological reasons. Okay. So, whatever the reason may be, in, in, in our society, it is common that to blame the females. The females are, are more commonly, they are usually blamed. But it is not the case. Okay. Both partners are responsible. Okay. Then if there is such a kind of problems arises in the couples, they can seek the help of some specialized clinics. That is known as infertility clinics. They can dictate 
and treat this problem, this kind of problems. And then the couple can have children. Okay. But in some cases, these corrections may be inappropriate. That may that corrections may may not be possible. Okay, so at that time the couples have to seek the help of some other highly specialized techniques. So that type of techniques it is known as the assisted reproductive techniques or ART. So there are infertility clinics that can detect and treat these most of these problems can be treated. And in that infertility clinics these corrections are not possible the couple can adopt some other special techniques that special techniques are commonly known as what ART or assisted reproductive techniques so now let's learn about what are these types of assisted reproductive technologies now let's learn about this assisted reproductive technologies so these are the assisted reproductive technologies so there is what in vitro fertilization or IVF then gamete intra fallopian transfer or gift then intra cytoplasmic sperm injection ICSI then artificial insemination technology or AI so these are common uh, techniques so first uh, we can study about this one that uh, in vitro fertilization it is otherwise known as the test tube baby program okay. here uh, the ova from the wife and uh, the sperm from the husband are collected and induced and collected and induced under the simulated condition in, inside the lab And the cycle, the produced, the cycle produced in the lab. Okay, the cycle with the eight blastomeres, around eight blastomeres, it can be transferred into the fallopian tube of the female. Okay, or the cycle with more than eight blastomeres that can be transferred into the uterus. Okay. Then why we are transferring this? It is transferring because of what? For the further development. For the further development of the zygote, the embryo. Okay. So if it is transferred in the fallopian tube, it is known as the practice is known as what? Zygote intra fallopian transfer. If the zygote with what? This uh, eight more than eight blastomies, the embryo with the more than eight blastomeres that can be transferred directly into the uterus. So that type of practice is known as what? Intrauterine transfer. Okay. So this IV of in vitro fertilization is otherwise known as test tube baby program. Then the second one, the gamete intra fallopian transfer. Here the ovum from ovum which is collected from the donor which is introduced which is transferred into the fallopian tube of the of another female or the fallopian tube of the recipient and this recipient cannot produce ovum but she can provide a favorable medium for the fertilization and the further development okay so the, in that case this gamete intra fallopian transfer can be used okay. and uh, the next technology is that uh, intra cytoplasmic sperm injection it is the direct ingestion of the sperm the sperm is directly injected into the ore inside the laboratory okay the last technique this artificial insemination AI technique. Here the semen collected from the husband it is artificially introduced. The semen collected from the husband 
it is artificially introduced either into the vagina or into the uterus of the female okay okay and if it is introduced into the uterus the technique is otherwise known as what intra uterine insemination okay so these are the four techniques okay so we have just briefly known this one okay so these are the technologies in vitro fertilization gamete intra fallopian transfer intra cytoplasmic sperm injection and artificial insemination techniques now let's go to the last part of this this chapter that is what the it is related with the, the sexually transmitting diseases so what are sexually transmitted diseases okay the diseases which are caused which are transmitted through the sexual intercourse is known as the sexually transmitted diseases or stds so the best known as venereal diseases or reproductive tract infections so what is a std these are infections or diseases or disorders that is uh, uh, due to what the sexual intercourse okay so these are commonly known as what stds there are a number of stds some of the stds are given here gonorrhea syphilis genital herpes aids Chlamydiasis, genital warts, trichomoniasis, then hepatitis B. These are some examples. And here, syphilis, chlamydiasis, gonorrhea. These are what bacteria causing. These are caused by bacteria. Then genital herpes, AIDS, then uh, genital warts and uh, hepatitis B. These are caused by virus. And this one, trichomoniasis, it's a protozoan. It is caused by a protozoan. So these are some of the examples of uh, common STDs. And this type of STDs, in the case of AIDS and uh, hepatitis, so some of these uh, STDs, they can be uh, transmitted through blood transfusion. Okay, some other means also that means what blood transfusion or through sharing some surgical instruments or from an infected mother to her fetus to her child so in this way also some of the STDs can be transmitted okay and uh, uh, if you're talking about their symptoms most of the symptoms we will we will not, uh, we cannot uh, understand this type of symptoms. We may mostly neglect this type of symptoms because these are very minor symptoms. Okay. And the early symptoms that may include itching, then slight pain, then swelling, then uh, fluid discharging in the genital area, the genital organs. Okay. You may feel uh, this kind of early symptoms there but most cases most uh, most persons they they will not notice it properly and that may lead to in the later stages that may lead to some uh, extra complications that may include abortions stillbirths or pelvic inflammatory diseases or ectopic uh, pregnancies or infertility or even cancer of the reproductive organs, the genital areas. Okay, so these are what some complications. Okay, and if you detected this all this thing in the early stage, it can be easily curable. Okay, so these types of um, disorders um, are um, this type of uh, STDs, which are having. A major consideration in the RCH program, their detection and their treatment is given a high priority in the RCH programs. Okay.
Okay, but because it may affect our uh, our society very badly. Okay, and how can we prevent this type of uh, uh, diseases? The sexually transmitted disease can be prevented if we take some precautions. It can be easily prevented. Okay, there are some precautions that. Uh, Always use condoms during coitus, during sexual intercourse. It's important that always use condoms. Then avoid sex with unknown partners or multiple partners. Avoiding sex with unknown partners or multiple partners. Then if there is any doubt, if there is any minor um, symptoms arising, you may just go for early detection. And you have to take the treatments. Okay, whatever the treatment, it must be taken. Okay, so that's all about uh, the sexually transmitted diseases. Okay, so in this way, we have uh, we are uh, completing this chapter. Okay, so you you have to do one thing that uh, you may read your textbook. Okay, go through that uh, textbook. And if you raise any doubt, you must contact me. Okay, or you can message me. Any time you can message. And in the next section, we have to start a new unit. It's very, very important unit. And it may be a little complicated unit. Okay, so anyway, we will study. Okay, so uh, now I am going to conclude. So you go through your textbook, read and read. And if you... If you have any difficulty, if you find any difficulty there, um, you can contact me. Okay? So, bye-bye.